All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Capital Culture. I'm your host, Christopher Wheeler, and today we have a very special one. But if you've been enjoying the episodes, please make sure to like and subscribe. Now, let's get into it. We are here with arguably a Toronto pioneer. He's been in the game a long time, but recently, I'm going to tell you, he started his comeback. He just came home. He just dropped an album, and we're going to get to all of it today. But without further ado, we have FB. How are we doing today, sir? You already know what up, bro. Respect. I appreciate you coming in. Yeah. I have a lot to talk to you about, and I could start this interview a lot of ways, but I have a particular question I want to ask you, um, and I think you'll have an interesting answer. So let me ask you this. Who is FB, and how would you describe yourself? FB's a, FB's a rapper from Toronto who's been going hard for a while now. You feel me? You already know Wasp Gang, North of Jane. And how would I describe myself? Certified, certy. So you said your, your relationship with your mom is good right now. So she's forgived you for running away in grade five from school? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Where That's were you the, going? For sure, I get... I get. <laughs> <laughs> you kill me. Away the, from the that mother, test. <laughs> mothers, mothers, the love one is too strong, you know? Mm-hmm. Definitely when you come up in the streets and shit. You give your mom some stress and stuff sometimes. So as in like you did your homework on that, Mm -hmm. whatever, you know. I I know, 100%. I was just lost in the sauce, you know. So she still gives you good guidance to this day? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. She she plays a big part of the real one I became today. That's good to hear. So you're going to stay out of trouble and just make bangers for Toronto from now on. 100. 100. Sick, 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 sick. Where does the name come from? Um, it was really fat boy, but then after I went down, um, in a project 2011 type of thing, yeah. I was in YO, and this time before I lost the case, this is Project Marvel, mm-hmm. they had me under fat boy, so I would literally be on range and shit, and niggas would be like, yo, fat boy, be like, yo, don't just say FD, <laughs> you say, you know, as a man, yeah, just yeah. say FD. Did that, did that FB hurt your, just, did that hurt you? Did that, that, yeah. that hurt your, um... I, no one likes becoming no, being called no, fat boy. I, I held it. I always been a big kid my whole life. Like that should never really phase me. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I embraced that coming up. You know what I'm trying to say? And plus, like I came up tough. Like you couldn't really even talk to me. Like to like trying to make fun of me type okay, of shit. Like, okay. I was punching out kids left, right, and sending. Like you know, I was like a little bully in school. You, shit, you so. said you had 30 fights in the while. <laughs> yeah, and jail. That's jail. crazy. And jail and shit, but pretty much, yeah, now I'm based that, you know, mm-hmm. now they call me fat meat, you know what I'm trying to say? We still working out, doing little shit and stuff too, Okay, bro. okay. So, you started out a long time ago, and uh, congrats to Priceless just going gold. Yeah. Talk about that track and what it meant to your career, and how, how do you, Crazy. do you have some other heat coming with Robin? I know you guys are having, you have an EP yeah. coming out. Yeah, we have an EP coming out. I have beer heaters with Robin, shout out my brother Robin Banks. Mm-hmm. Pretty much fucking, yeah. When can like we expect Christ that? It, what, the EP? Yeah. Real soon. I'm just got to decide a date, but definitely this year. Mm-hmm. I mean, but Priceless definitely, other than Wasp Gang, Wasp Gang was my first song, but then mm-hmm. Priceless really kicked shit off. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Like Priceless was like, make me or break me type of thing. Cause like I always said, I dropped Wasp Gang and I never rapped for a whole year. Mm-hmm. And then I just called Robin and I'm like, yo, let me try it again, you know, mm-hmm. like, let's see if I can blow up because Wasp Gang was blowing up mm-hmm. and literally my second video was priceless. Yeah. And then that shit blew up and priceless. It just got, it just went, got gold, correct? Yeah, gold, That's Wasp crazy. Gang is gold. So my first two songs are both <laughs> gold plaques, feel me? So it's like that and both of them seven million views shout out to the bros on it you know mm-hmm. obviously i'm featured on it so when you go and make those songs and there's such a hit and you come home from such a long bid how do you reintegrate some of the sauce that went into the earlier songs to try and make uh, those bangers again what do you mean say that again how do you how do you take what was successful from the first songs you had uh priceless and was gang and since you've been home, when you go into the studio, are you conscious of like, okay, yo, I want to try and make something similar that's going to go or? Nah, nah, I just go with the flow now, you know? I go with the flow at the end of the day. Like that was, that shit was natural. That shit like Priceless and Wasp Gang, we never made those songs like, oh, blown. Like Priceless, I came back on it. Wasp Gang was literally just shot from my brother Wasi, you feel me? I said, mm-hmm. he's quasi skin Peters. But we shot it for him type of thing because he passed away and mm-hmm. it was like, 
you know, like Absolutely. even my verse on Waskang, like I, I never even, like I wouldn't say I wasn't trying, but like I was kind of rushing even when I made the song, kind of we made it like at four in the morning. So <laughs> Waskang is just, yeah, you know, it was natural, gra- organic, like that mm-hmm. was just destined to blow up for my bro Wasi. Mm-hmm. So I was listening to an interview you did, you said you wrote around 80 tracks in jail. Yeah. How many did you? How many of those did you put on the album that was just dropped? And what do you have the? Do you have plans for the rest of them? And my oh. my second add on to that question, or third, if you will, is it hard to write in jail? Like with no instrumental, or do they allow you to have like to listen to music? Yeah, like I had how a do you cell do that? Phone. I had a cell phone in jail, so oh. I was able to get instrumental. Then I got caught with my cell phone and shit, then got punished for it. So I can talk about having a cell phone, obviously, in a penitentiary, right? But how do you, how, how, that's kind of interesting for people that at home that don't know how does that work? Like, uh, how did you, who do you go to see to get a cell phone? Is it, is it, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 now he's trying day. to get his Vlad TV on. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, fair I'm enough, fair enough. I, I just found it. Okay, found okay. It but let me ask you, how how much does a cell phone go for in jail? I don't know what I know. All right, we don't know. All right, we I moving just, it on. We moving it I on, Vlad. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Um, yeah. what, since being home, what's your favorite thing to do besides make music? How do you cater to your mental health? What do you do to relax and... I know you were talking about coming home and just experiencing doing things for a first time so many times. So what what's the thing that you man like you get home and you're like, damn, I really miss this. Just getting pussy. <laughs> Obviously. Like when you do a job four years and like Corona, when I was in there, Corona fucked up everything because they stopped trailer visits and then I was getting caught with cell phones. So like that whole four years was, you know what I mean? So I'm grateful to just even be able to be with a woman whenever I want, wake up in my house. You yeah. know what I mean? The simple things that then if they roll up a blunt, chill. I just, I be taking it easy. Like when you do real time, yeah. those little stuff be hitting you. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? No, no, 100%. Like waking dude. up in my condo, just chilling fresh air. You know what mm-hmm. I'm trying to say? Little shit. So another huge uh, success you've had since being home you said you made around ten thousand dollars off features since yeah uh, how does someone contact for a feature um, how shout it- out to the first things first shout out to the to the one to the people who hit me up in my dm who actually came through and had their money right because the worst thing i hate is when people always hit you up for a feature in your dm and to just say how much is the future all right i'm gonna hit you up that happens so yeah. much too so like even me making that 10k off features and thing mm-hmm. those are like the one two solid people that were really serious about their craft right because mm. music's a business you want to invest in you know what i mean getting your views and shit. like we have to put in footwork to get where we are so mm, but that, absolutely. That, that annoys me definitely like don't hit my dm if you don't have money ready for a future you heard and, it here first yeah listen like, here guys you don't have your bread ready get the fuck out of here that's annoying bro. you know what <laughs> i mean it's like yo you just see that dm in your request how much your future you know you mm-hmm. tell them the bread even when you tell them fuck you will work with them niggas just have zero dollars mm-hmm. it's like they just want to reply sometimes so Lock the ass. since being home you i hear you were, you said some interesting stuff you said um court baby has course got the baby. course baby got the best uh reception in terms of all of your tracks why do you think that is and are you gonna kind of stay in that pocket of uh sound because everyone wrote, really likes I it i wrote courts baby in my cell <laughs> you know what i mean that's crazy like that probably the last two bars of Quartz Baby I put I put on when I was in the studio, but I remember exact cell I was in. I wrote that shit on pen and paper, no instrumental. That's crazy. When I came home, that's the second video I dropped, and mm-hmm. it's on my tape clearly until today. No, a hundred percent. Now um, you mentioned uh, being on range with Tall Up the whole time. Uh, talk a little bit about Free that. Free Talop twin. Is long there, live Tyrone. Uh, long live Talop. Is there any stories you can share with your fans? Um, uh, any chats that funny. you guys had? Sure, we had a lot of, we went through some hard times in there because, mm-hmm. you know, certain situations. But like, we're lit, we're drinking moonshine. So pretty <laughs> much, moonshine is something we had in the pen. Like, we just go crazy, you know? We just drinking moonshine, partying every day, listening to music. We're just making the best of the situation. Yeah, absolutely. You know? 
No way. That's <laughs> moonshine, eh? Who would have friggin' thought? Yeah. Um, how do you think your album was, was received overall? So I got great feedback on my album. I have some new shit ready to like, drop on them right away. I'm, I'm the type of person who don't really like to dwell on stuff. Like, I'm not going to be sitting here finally free, finally free. Like, damn right, finally free is out right now. But I'm like, you know, I have a whole new mixtape this summer that's already halfway done. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, but finally free, I got great feedback on that. Shout out to all the bros who's on it, you know? Mm. Free burner. Wafio, that song is going crazy streaming. It's, so, it's a long way to come since uh, Jane and uh, Finch Boston. I believe that was your first, Finch, that's first, what first I'm track saying. in 2013. If you right? guys go look at that, I'll show you how far we came. <laughs> right Jane Finch, we ain't even have no rap name. Jane Finch Boston, that's it. Now, I kind of want to just touch on uh, your relationship with Robin. Um, you guys are very close. <coughs> um, you mentioned something about uh, wanting to get on and pay for his surgery and stuff and whatnot. Tell me, talk to me about how that effect, uh, that event uh, his assassination attempt at, I guess, the hookah lounge affected you? And how do you see you guys moving forward uh, making music? And is it still something you'd want to do if you uh, got enough bread and pay for the surgery? Or has the surgery been, been done? I'm I don't not know. really going to get in too much about the surgery, you know? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, bro, I was doing rehab, you know? Mm -hmm. Inshallah, you know, we stay prayed up. Regardless, we're blessed, you feel me? But to keep it 100 with mm -hmm. that, like a buck, obviously that shit is super hard, you feel me? Because mm -hmm. that's the guy who's really like, Ali, you, me, and this and this rapture. Not only that, that's my bro from kindergarten, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, the street shit, like I said, it's just cold, you feel me? It's cold, so it's like you can't. You gotta, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, stay yeah. strong. Bro, still here, he's the strongest man I know, though, like mentally. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, Absolutely. that nigga helps me, he stays strong. When I think I'm having hard days, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Bro is just positive. And, mm -hmm. and then, they, like I said, we just stay and prayed up and keep him moving. We're not going to let no haters keep us down. Mm -hmm. None of that. And he's still doing more numbers than a lot of these Toronto rappers no, in the situation he's going through. You feel me? No, 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 no. So okay. that's the goal right there. But yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Now... Uh I saw you had an extremely uh, successful Rolling Loud set. You, yeah. YG, went crazy. Shout out to Boy 35. Um, talk about that. And then I'm going to add on, I saw you link up with Press there. So that must have been yeah, nice. Shout, to, out, uh, shout, out, shout out Pressa too. Shout out the whole BFR fucking. Um, yeah, I was just getting out the pen that time. Whatever, you don't know. YG locked me in, you feel me? YG mm -hmm. Press on Amanda, whatever. I came home. In the chat. With your auntie. It <laughs> was crazy. Going crazy. Like, that crazy. That was the best. That you guys might have had the best set. Man, that's not even a question. They know that. They yeah. know that Wasp guy turned Rolling Loud upside mm -hmm. down. You feel me? So, Do you so. think uh, Rolling Loud's going to happen again this September coming up? Or what's. I know I there's some know. rumors. At this point, I rumors I'm hearing they're not shit. At least I got the first one. You feel me? Yeah, that's if crazy. You miss, if you missed out on the first <laughs> one, I feel bad for you because that shit was turned up. Now, you said something pretty interesting in one of your interviews. You said you're still waiting out, still waiting for Jake to reach out. Is that oh. Drake to reach out? <laughs> yeah, shout out to the boy Juicy. I said that in my thing. No, because he asked me, that was a question. Shout out Macadelic, yeah. too. That's my boy Macadelic. Macadelic Mac. asked me, how did I feel when Drake was playing my song when I went to jail? Mm. And I told him, shit, I was lit. I was running around the range talking my shit. <laughs> when the goat is in the car, I'm like, I think it's OVO Mark was playing the yeah. song. I don't know how my song even got playing, you feel me, in their car, but at the end of the day, I was appreciative. And yeah, I said, I'm still in a Definitely some motivation. Yeah, definitely motivation, you know, so. Absolutely. So, JD, reach out. We got another one coming up, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. talent ranks, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think? I'm going to leave it with these last uh, three questions with you, and I, I'm quite interested what you're going to say. Uh, what do you think you need to do to bring you to the next level as an artist i just gotta keep going um stay consistent mm. i'm doing a one two different tracks like my next tape i'm gonna have like an afro beats feature on it 
I'm going to do a little one, two, you know, different shit. And I'm just going to stay consistent at the end of the day, you feel me? Mm. Make good music. You got to just stay working, you know? Is That's there anyone I mean. that you'd want to work with outside of the city or even in the city that you kind of have? Yeah, no, on? definitely. That's investing in crafts. That's why people, the same thing I'm talking about, features, like, you can't slide in people's DM and not be money ready and shit because there's people I'm looking forward to do music with. In so you'll city. have your money ready. Definitely. Because that's investing in my craft. You Absolutely. feel me? So right now I'm just working, grinding. You feel me? I don't want to just run out here and try to get paid for a future for artists in the States. And no, like I want to show my work ethic first you feel me like yeah yeah i want the city to really know that like you know how i'm coming and then boom get a fat future you know what i'm trying to say no 100 percent, 100 percent. one of my last questions to you is what do you think is your biggest obstacle in the next year into getting to where you need to go my biggest obstacle yeah you know stay moving the way i'm moving you know stay neat stay yeah. free like, is that uh do you worry um, cause I remember your, your shout out Macadelic, you were shooting a video for Quartz Baby and, yeah. uh, there was a little incident. You don't need to go into it, but is that something that you're constantly nah, worrying I'm not about? Sad. <laughs> Regardless, we're forever on point out here 24 seven. hundred percent. You know what I mean? So it's not like that situation. I'm just saying like, you just gotta stay alive, stay free, stay yeah. focused. You not yeah. let negative energy get me, get to me. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you got to stay tunnel vision on what you want personally. And I know what I want. Absolutely. So at the end of the day, that's what's going to help me in throughout this next year, I feel. Okay, okay. Now, you have a close-up camera here. I'm going to let you leave a message to your fans, what you have to say to them. And then we're going to move into the next segment. But uh, before we sign off, do you have a message for your fans uh, for the next year? Shit. Shout out all my supporters. You know, all my day one fans, especially that been rocking with the movement, Was Gang, all of us, you feel me? And yeah, just don't switch up on me. I got big plans, like Drizzy said, you feel me? I'm going to keep applying that pressure. Absolutely. All right, well, with that being said, uh, Capital Culture, Christopher Wheeler, FB, he's got a lot of music yeah. coming in. So make sure to stay tuned uh, and locked in, and we'll see you in the next one.